wagon's ride! Wow! Neat! Give me a break! I don't like this! Whoa! What's happening? Fear not, ranger, barbarian, magician, thief, cavalier, and acrobat. Who was that? That was Venger, the force of evil. I am Dungeon Master, your guide in the realm of Dungeons and Dragons! Break through this. Huh? Maybe your batteries are dead. If we don't get out of here, our batteries won't be the only thing that's dead. Run! I hope my suit doesn't rust. I hope those ugly things don't come after us again. Where did those things come from anyway? And what's wrong with our weapons? This must have been Venger's work. Well, let's get out of here before he starts working overtime. The simian bats have failed, Highness. Even they could not take the enchanted weapons from the young intruders. Fools, enough! I will deal with them myself. Whatever they are, these things sure look good. <laughs> But why did our weapons lose their power? I'm worried. You have good reason to be. Huh? Dungeon Master! Your weapons have failed? Yeah! One minute I'm knocking down trees, then poof! My club just fizzles out! I was afraid of this. The mystic energy that powers your weapons is fading. Batteries? Bobby, our weapons don't have batteries. Your weapons must be recharged. See, I told you, dead battery! Uh, uh, uh. Recharged? But where? High in the mountains, in a place called the Hall of Bones. The Hall of Bones? That sounds neat! That sounds horrible. A gigantic tomb filled with the remains of this land's greatest warriors. Oh, great, a cemetery. Oh? 
Inside the hall, you will find the skull of power. It will recharge your weapons. How do we find it? There will be someone to guide the way, but they will want payment. And remember, in darkness, look to the light. Now what's that supposed to mean? Can't you show us the way, Dungeon Master? Dungeon Master? Don't tell me. He's gone! I told you not to tell me. We'd better get going. I'll feel a lot safer when our weapons are recharged. Maybe we can hire a guide here. Hire him? We don't have any money. He's right. Well, fortunately, I have the solution. With my talent, I can perform for the money. Eric, I don't think you should... After all, if this crowd goes gaga over two little dummies, think how they'll react. To one big dummy. <laughs> Good afternoon, ladies and lords. The great Eric will now entertain you. Hey. <laughs> how, many, how many dwarves does it take to change a light bulb? None! They can't reach it! <laughs> They're not troll enough! <laughs> oh, yuck! Yeah, bash! Say, did you hear the one about the barbarian who was so stupid? No! How stupid was he? Uh, he, he, he was so... <coughs> that, that everyone loved him, and he was the smartest guy in the world. <laughs> Presto, do you think you can pull some money out of your hat? Uh, I don't think so. Try! Okay. <laughs> oh, no, that's not it. Try again! Ah, I better quit. Hooray! Bravo! Don't stop! Oh, 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 Bravo! Huh? Hey, Presto, you're a hit! And we've got some money! Are you sure about this, Eric? Sure. Guides always hang out in places like this. Remember, Eric, our weapons won't be able to help us if we get into trouble. What trouble? The old cavalier knows what he's doing. <laughs> Eric, don't you think we should at least get a guy that talks human? Hey, our money will talk for us. Anyone interested in a business proposition? <laughs> See, what did I tell you? So long, Eric. It was nice knowing ya. Uh, uh, listen, fellas, we only need one guide. Uh, of course, three is a nice round number. You'll have to share the fee, though. Uh-oh. Help! Help! Looks like the old Cavalier is in trouble. Can't, can't we discuss this over lunch? Hey, guys, why fight over pennies when you can have all this? Come on! There they go! What are they so mad about? You just gave them a big sack of money! Wrong! We just gave them a big sack of bottle caps! <laughs> you what? Shut up and run! What if she's one of them? Remember what Dungeon Master said? In darkness, look to the light. She's here to help us. This passage leads beneath the town. You'll be safe there. Safe. One of my favorite words. Who are you? Someone sent by a friend of yours. Friend? Ah! <laughs> oh! And if you could pull free... Venger! Beneath you is a bottomless pit. Now I'll take what's mine. No! No! Hey! Your powers 
are mine. Your bodies I leave to Loth, demon queen of spiders. Do with them as you will. to fight Tiamat. Great, we can use a few less dragons. But our weapons don't work. Great, then we'll have a few less ventures. And a few less weapons, too. our chance. Quick, we've got to recharge them at the Hall of Bones. But we still don't know how to get there. Come on, we've got to find a guide. So, the Hall of Bones, eh? This is a joke. There's been no sign of a town, a guide, or anything else. I'm something else. You can say that again, but what? Oh, come now. You look as though you've never seen a halfling before. We can't see you now. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> sorry. Hey, Hector the halfling, if you please. And you don't look very pleased. Can I be of service? I doubt it. We're looking for some stupid cemetery. Uh, not the Hall of Bones, perchance. You know where it is? What kind of guide would I be if I didn't? You're a guide? Can you lead us there? <laughs> oh, why, of course. Yeah, how much will it cost us? <laughs> well, 
for the time being, let's say your company shall be my payment. I like his rates. Oh, brother, the not-so-grand canyon. Are we there yet? Yeah. When do we get there? Come on, come on. We're practically there. There's nothing practical about this. Look. Oh, yuck. This is stupid. Hector must have rocks in his head. Come on, Uni, you can do it. What the? Hey! I said rocks in Hector's head, not on my head. <laughs> Come on, this clown doesn't know where he's going. How can you be sure, Eric? Who cares? I say we tell Hector to shove off. Yeah. 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 Let's go. Great idea. But first we'll have to catch him. Hey, Hector. You said you'd take us to the Hall of Bones. And I have. There it is, my friends. The Hall of Bones. Gnarly! Gnarly! Oh, brother. Couldn't we pretend we never found it? Come along. Quickly now. This place gives me the creeps. Every place in this world gives you the creeps. The Skull of Power. <laughs> Legend says that it glows with the power of the heroes who are buried here. Well, what are you waiting for? Hey, Hector wants to get out of here faster than we do. <laughs> is it going to eat us? I guess we place our weapons in the skull. for bringing you here. Venger! Hand over your weapons. So you're the guide wanting payment. Indeed. And my payment is due now. No thanks, Venger. Wait! Dungeon Master said, in darkness, look to the light. Quick, everybody, into the skull. This is the light. This is awful. No! Did we do that? I don't know. This battle with Venger is no longer yours. Go. What's happening? I'm not sure. You dare to challenge me. This is not possible. Within this hall, Venger, our powers are supreme. Are we home? No, but we're out of the Hall of Bones. And away from Venger. But not far enough. Let's get out of here. This whole place is falling apart! Keep moving! We don't have any time! If this hall is the source of your power, then you leave me no choice! It's a good thing we got our weapons recharged! Look! Yeah, but the charge only lasts for 300 years. What do you mean, only? What's that? You think they beat Venger? I hope so. I think that answers.
answers your question, Presto. Wow! I wonder where Vendor recharges his batteries. I wonder if we're ever going to get out of here. When the time is right, pupils, you'll find the way.